Hey, it's Rich from Brass Combat, and welcome to the 26th episode of the vlog. As you can see, I am joined by another couple of members from Brass Combat, so say hello, guys. Hi, it's uh, Tom hello. joining us from Brass Combat. Hi, this is Matt. Yeah, so um, this is the first try vlog we've done, really. So we're just going to sort of talk about our current projects, and then we're going to go on to question of the week, which is how can I speed my website up? So if you're watching on Twitter or Instagram, just head on over to YouTube or Facebook and you can get the full length clip where you can find out a bit more information on how to speed your website up. So um, yeah, obviously this is the first time as well we've done it with all three of us. So any sort of feedback, um, bear with us like while we sort out the sound and things like that, we will work on it and get it better. But uh, yeah, any feedback would be greatly appreciated. So our current projects, um, we've got a few on the go at the moment, and as of last week, a couple of new ones. So one of them is a shop website, an e-commerce website for a shop in Wolverhampton. And it's going to be a bit different as it is for a collective of designers. So it's not one person managing the shop, it's gonna be a number of people all putting in different product products and stuff like that. So um, it'll be, Pretty interesting hopefully it'll come out quite nice uh, it's also going to involve some facebook marketing and advertising which is like another service we offer just to try and get some traffic and product sales through the website to really give it a kick uh, as it launches so um yeah if you're interested in like e-commerce or facebook advertising and stuff like that just get in contact with us so uh, I think Tom's going to talk about the next project we've got on the go. Uh, yeah, so we've also got a, a new website project for a, uh, a company that does cocktail events. Um, so this is going to be a, a bit simpler than the shop one. This is going to have a lot more kind of uh, immediate impact. And it's just going to be about sharing information, showing off what they can do and uh, how the, you know other people can get in contact with them and book them. Um, and we're hoping to do some really kind of cool, neat looking stuff on that site. And I think uh, Matt might have had a new one as well. Uh, yeah, we've also been working with a uh, chap who's a carpenter, so we've done a website for him, and it's, uh, it's a really good looking site. Uh, he's also asked us to do some uh, design work, so uh, Rich has uh, been uh, creating a logo for him as well. So that's some nice, uh, some nice design work as well as uh, a, a website. Yeah, so like those few projects, we've got like some others, um, I think we probably spoke about them uh, um on previous vlogs and just on social media and stuff like that, more ongoing ones. But uh, those are a few that we've got sort of on the burner at the moment. The carpentry one is pretty much on its way live, isn't it, Matt? Is that right? Yeah, so it should be propagating now as we speak. So we yeah, so, space very soon. <laughs> yeah, we might drop a link to it in the vlog, but um, if it's not quite ready yet, that's just because it's uh, propagating like through all the different regions and stuff like that. We did um, a different vlog where the question of the week actually was about propagation. So maybe head back and watch that one out if you're interested in what that process is. See that nice juicy backlink <laughs> there to your previous video. <laughs> um, so yeah, the question of the week this week then is how can I speed up my website? Now there's a number of different sort of um, things you can do. And we're just gonna talk about a couple of them that like the user might be able to do. So like one of the first ones is to compress the images. So rather than using sort of massive image files, um, you can compress them. So they're a lot smaller and they load a lot quicker. So there's like a couple of nice ways you can do that. There's a couple of websites that you can sort of upload them to and run them through and it sort of outputs you a uh, compressed version of it. And there's also a couple of plugins if you're using um, CMS like WordPress, you can get some plugins that will compress them for you and even sort of serve different uh, compressed image levels for different devices. So it serves a lot smaller of a, an image for a mobile device rather than like a big desktop screen. Um, Tom, I think you've got something. Yeah, so um, another couple of things you can do along the same lines as compressing in the images, you can uh, minify all the CSS and JavaScript. So basically when you have a page with kind of a lot of stuff going on, a lot of um, CSS restyling the page and a lot of JavaScript interacting with the page, it can slow down the load time and the kind of the interaction time if you have all of that as a non-compressed 
um, scripts basically. So what you can do is um, you can get plugins that will um, run through those and actually minify them for you. So it's basically serving the minimum possible file from the web server back to your browser and then the browser can kind of deminify it and encrypt and uh, interpret it and go from there. Um, and also a kind of a similar thing of doing that as well is uh, caching. So this basically means once you've gone to a website the uh, HTML, CSS and JavaScript from that website will be stored locally on your browser for a certain period of time, which means when you're navigating between pages or you know we've gone to the site one day and you come back the next day, it doesn't have to go and get all that information over again. It's already there and so it's uh, you know displayed for the for the user straight away. Yeah, and just like jumping in quickly on that bit, that's why um, if you have a change in your website or like trying to tweak some bits, you can like tweak it and then it doesn't seem to work for a while. That might just be because your browser's sort of sending you the old version of it that it hasn't like tried to get off the server again. And that's pretty much right, isn't it? So. Uh, yeah, um, and a Chrome is uh, notorious for holding cache versions of stuff. So if you are changing it, make sure you're using an incognito browser or Control Shift F5, which will force refresh and force the browser to go and fetch the latest uh, assets. And there's a couple of other things that you can do along those lines as well, I believe, Matt. Yes, yeah, so we've used a service in the past called Cloudflare. Um, and Cloudflare is a great uh, tool where a lot of the things you've been talking about, um, that, that you can do that within the browser. Uh, with Cloudflare services. So it does a lot of the, it can do image compression and it can do um, minified CSS and JavaScript files for you. So those are a lot of things that you can do as the end user without really getting into the, um, uh, deep into the systems. But if you're finding that you're still having a problem, things are still loading slowly maybe, then you might need to get in touch with whoever your website's hoster is. So they can um, uh, hopefully get, uh, look into a bit more of the server technology and see if there's anything that they need to investigate and see if there's anything that they can do to speed it up. But there's a lot of things you can do as the end user. Uh, there's a lot of tools online now, which are really good. Yeah, so I'm just going to like dive off script a bit here, just uh, watching for your reactions and <laughs> say like, <laughs> why is it important that a website loads fast? That's probably worth just mentioning on. There's like a couple of reasons why, like obviously the faster the better because um, Firstly, from a user point of view, they're not going to wait around like we're in the age of sort of if it's not there instantly, they get bored and they're going to like just go to the next listing. Like if somebody Googles a service and you've popped up and they try and go on your site and it takes like five seconds, 10 seconds to load, they're probably just going to back straight out and go on to the next listing. We're in a very like impatient world as it is. Um, but I think it also affects like SEO and things like that. Um, Google so, yeah, when will Google trawls your page, yeah, that can it takes the load time into account. And so, if you uh, want to see your website really high up on the Google listing, then yeah, having a fast loading site really matters for that as well. Yeah, and um, go on, Tom. It's also um, really useful, even if you're kind of looking at it through a desktop and it's displaying fine. When you're, you have to consider that when uh, your users are loading it via mobile, obviously, if they're going through 4G, their, their actual connectivity is going to be a lot slower. So even though your site might load fine on desktop, you need to make sure you've taken into account the images and the JavaScript and the caching and stuff for mobile users as well, because that's going to have a different way of kind of interacting with your site. Yeah, because you might live out in the sticks a bit like uh, I do and uh, you don't get 4G everywhere. Sometimes you're only on just like the 1G connection. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's important to go, go and check it across like all sort of mobile networks and things like that. Um, so that pretty much rounds up like the question of the week. As Matt said, if you are having like speed issues with your site and you've tried a few of those things or you wanted assistance trying a few of those things, um, either approach your, like your host or get in contact with us and we might be able to like take a look and see if it is one of those things that's like slowing it down or if it's like something else. Um, I think Matt was talking before we went live about um, you can sort of see through the inspector like what elements specifically are sort of loading a lot slower. Is it like the waterfall or something like that, Matt? Yeah, I think it's in the network tab. Let me just boot up a browser real quick. I'm just throwing him on the spot here. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to get the terminology wrong, but yeah, in the network tab, you can either choose to see the document or all elements that are loading on the page, and then you have a graphical representation in the waterfall, and that can show you the exact time each element on a website takes to load. So if often if you're having a problem with a page loading, it might be a specific element, say a large image or um, a big JavaScript file, and you can identify which um, 
file it is, which is taking that time. So that's a really useful tool in Chrome's Inspector. Yeah, so that's just like a, a like trick to sort of pinpoint what it is that's causing the slow load time, so you can refine on rather than just sort of guessing and trying to do everything. You can like narrow it down a bit more. So. Yeah, I think that rounds up like the question of the week. I don't know if either of you two have got anything to add on that sort of. No, um, I was just going to say, you know, um, Cloudflare also offers some tools as well that you can just throw your website in and it will give you some feedback on what things were making it slow or what things you can do to improve it. So um, we'll log the link to Cloudflare down in the uh, description below. Yeah, I think uh, Google has like a nice one that Matt linked in the week or something like that as well, where it um, tells you how you can sort of get your site like load time a bit quicker and like some advice on that so we might like tr try and dig that out and chuck the link to it at the bottom as well yeah, um good. yeah so if you like that rounds up the question of the week but if you do want your question answered on the vlog or just in general you can just like send us um the question via like social media or email or you know just call us up or anything really so um yeah ask us a question for next week's one um that pretty much rounds up the vlog episode as well um We'd, we'd like some feedback on the quality because it's the first time we've tried to do all three of us and all three of us in different locations with the overlay. So any feedback would be appreciated. Um, has anyone else got anything to add or in that's general? Me. Yep, no, that's all for me. Yeah. All right. So uh, thanks for watching and we'll catch you next week for the vlog then.